Uh, welcome to experiment number two, calibration of a pipette in a graduated cylinder. The purpose of this lab is to learn how to calibrate a pipette in a graduated cylinder. Pretty straightforward as far as the title and the purpose. The materials you need are a plastic one milliliter pipette. And I've got mine right here and I've prepped mine by labeling it with my initials both on the bulb and in the middle here. As long as you've got some distinguishing marks on it. Uh, so that you can tell it apart from the other ones, that's fine. 100 milliliter beaker, uh, 500 milliliter beaker, and my 500 milliliter beaker already has 400 milliliters of water because I've equilibrated it for 15 minutes already. 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, right? And uh, hint, I've done this lab before, and that's where my line is for the calibration of the 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. Distilled water, I used tap water. Scale that holds up to 200 uh, grams, same scale as last time, and temperature probe. <clears throat> so we've got all the pieces. On the handout, it actually says this in green, um, but here it shows up as gray. It is really important that you do this lab correctly. That is why I'm asking you to take so many pictures. If there are errors in this lab, it will affect your results for experiments three and five. So please be careful about this lab. I know you're going to be careful anyway, but an extra layer of caution or an extra layer, not of caution, but of uh, making sure to do it right and to, better yet, to do it until you get it right. That's what we need. Um, you have to take lots of pictures and turn them in. And you only have to take pictures for the one milliliter calibration, not the 0 0.5. You still have to do the 0 0.5, you just don't have to take pictures. Here's the skills that we're going to be learning, uh, some of which have videos that are associated with this lab. A bunch of these have videos that are associated with the previous lab, uh, experiment one. The introduction talks about the reliable and accurate handling of liquids, which is critical for chemists, biologists, and so many people. Please read over this, uh, but we're going to go over this flowchart because we're going to be calibrating by PET. That's the, what the flowchart's for. You're going to do three measurements of the milliliters at, uh, of H2O for one milliliter, let's say. And then is the average milliliters of H2O within plus or minus 0 0.2 milliliters of one milliliter? Um, that's the average of the three measurements. Yes, those three measurements are good. Yes, then do three more for a total of six good measurements. And then the second one has to be within plus or minus 0 0.02 milliliters of the first three measurements. If so, you're done. Minimum number of measurements, six. Um, if not, so if the first three are not uh, within, so plus or minus 0 0.02 of 1.00 milliliters, that would be 0.98 all the way up to 1.02. Then if they're not within that range, then no. Draw a mark on your pipette at the position you think will be one milliliter, 1.00 milliliters, and do it again. And keep going until you get it right. All of this is in the actual procedure as well, but uh, flow charts are another way to learn and uh, understand material. So let's get to the procedure. Calibrating a plastic pipette to deliver a certain volume. Equilibrate 400 milliliters of distilled water or tap water in this case to room temperature. Record the temperature of the distilled water. So mine's been in here for a long time. Get to temperature. Swirl it around. It's changing a little bit, so. My temperature is going down. It's staying steady now, so I'm going to go for 20.0 degrees. That's what I got. Turning it off, writing down 20.0 degrees here on the table. Always writing down temperature to the tenths place uh, because that's what it displays. 
at 20 degrees, I will point out, so I've got lab number one with this nice little table here. Let's move my water out of the way. Uh, at 20.0 degrees, my density of water is 0 0.98203. 998203. That's in grams per milliliter. You're going to need that handout from experiment one throughout this experiment. You'll notice that in this table there's a bunch of need picture, need pictures. Mark one of your one milliliter plastic pipettes with your initials. Done. Um, and we will need this pipette for future labs, so please do it. Condition the pipette with distilled water. Conditioning, if you'll remember, means to fill it up three times with distilled water and empty it out. I think I've done that already, but it can never hurt. Since it's distilled water, I am sucking up a whole bunch. If you are short on liquid, you would only use a tiny bit. I'm not sure the first one I did was good, so let's do a fourth one. All right, now the only thing in here is water, uh, tap water in this case, distilled water if you use that. Let's set our waste beaker aside and continue. Record the mass of a 100 milliliter beaker. I'm going to put my pipette in my water. Get my scale positioned here. Nice flat surface. I am weighing a 100 milliliter beaker, just double checking that it's clean and dry. Once it's on there, you're going to take a picture of this because that's one of the things that needs to be submitted. 11.16. Uh, oh, looks like 11.16. I've got my massive beaker down here this time, which means that I need to move these around because my massive beaker in H2O should be up here. This is what I need the picture of, the picture of so I'll, I'll change that for your version of this. All right. 11.16 grams. Uh, reading along, deliver 1.00 milliliter using the pipette. Well, I hope this is it. If not, we'll have to do it again. Uh, for my pipette, I'm going right to the 1.00 milliliter line. And I'm trying to do this without getting my camera's way. Ooh, there. Oop. I should have taken it off my scale first. I apologize for that. All right, but we didn't. So, and I didn't spill water on it, which is good. I get 12.12 12 12.13 grams. And remember mine are my table's not as good as yours are going to be. Let's do it again. This time I am taking it off, which is what I'm supposed to do. I'm looking straight, oh, bubble, there we go. I'm looking straight across, good. Get everything out there. 13.09 grams, and one more time. Let's see if it turns off on me. I had some droplets stuck on there, but there we go. And 14.06 grams. Uh, and each time you're going to take a picture of this so that you can see the beaker, the water, and the uh, display showing the grams, even as it changes. I'm going to keep that to 14.05 grams. I'm going to set this aside. Let's see. Take a picture each time. Repeat it. Take a picture each time. Uh, empty the beaker. It is okay if it is not dry. I'm going to empty this into my waste beaker. Give it a couple shakes here. Make sure the outside is... The outside is dry. You can dry the inside too, but you don't have to. I don't know if you can see any droplets of water in there. It 
take your time with these measurements. Make sure you do them right. Next is calculate the average mass of water delivered and record in table one. Remember, uh, yes, so I'm going to get my three masses. I'm going to take and subtract. Let's see, so it's going to be 11.16. Sorry, yes, 12.13 minus 11.16. Zero point nine seven grams. Then this one, since I did not empty it, it's going to be thirteen point oh nine minus twelve point one three. Zero point nine six and fourteen point zero five minus fifteen point zero nine. I get zero point nine six. The average of these, 0.96 plus 0.96 plus 0.97, 2.89 divided by 3, 0 0.963, where I only have two sig figs in these numbers, so I'm only going to have two sig figs there. Average milliliters. Okay, so you have your grams, you have your density. Oh. I, those are grams, so I better put my units. I heart units. 963 grams. I have my density, which is in grams per milliliter. 998203 grams per one milliliter. And now I can multiply this out. 0.963 divided by 0.998203. It's still 0 0.96 milliliters uh, to two decimal places. I guess I could put 0 0.965 uh, five, since the third digit rounds to a five, but uh, I usually just write the two digits. So 0 0.96 milliliters. That is uh, coming back to our flow chart. I've done calibration of pipette, three measurements of the milliliters of zero, two of H2O. Is the average milliliters of H2O within plus or minus 0, 0.2 milliliters of 1.00? No. No. Draw a mark on pipette at position you think will be 1.00 milliliters and do it again. Just fine. Uh, we'll do this. This is so worth getting right, by the way. So that was calibration attempt number one. Let's do calibration attempt number two. Uh, I do need a pen. Well, I'll use this one, I guess. I need my pipette. And since the 1.00 line was 0.96, which is less than one, I'm gonna make the li next line higher. And let's see, got my napkin here. I'm just going to go over this 10 or 20 times. And just to show you, that's my line, my, my new line. And then right here uh, is where uh, 0.96 was, because that's where the one mark is, the little indentation or raised part on the actual pipette itself. So I've gone a little higher because I want a little more volume. Rearrange my workspace here and then go back and do it again. Go back and do it again, looks like this. Take your beaker. Oh, no. First thing is take the temperature of the water. And uh, I think my room is a little warmer than my uh, water is right now because my temperature is going back down. It takes a few seconds, but this thing is pretty good. Let's turn off my scale while I'm right here. 
while I'm stirring, you might want to fast forward through this part. This is the uh, not exciting time of science. Although it is interesting, I mean, so my temperature is going down. It's at 20.3 right now. I know it was at 20.0 before. And it went pretty quickly down. So it was at 21.5 when I started. And now it's going down really slowly. And when it goes down really slowly, it means that you're basically at equilibrium. Uh, can you read that? 20.2. 20.1. 20 20.1 20 it is. Turn it off. Oop, wrong button. It'll never turn off there. It'll only turn it to degrees Fahrenheit. All right. So 20.1. Check my temperature over here for the density. 20.1 is 0 0.998183. So many significant figures, it brings uh, a smile to my face. Hmm. All right, so now let's do it again. And my tables are still wrong, but I'll fix them for you. Mass of beaker is going to go here. Let it turn on, wait for the dot to appear. There may be a little bit of water in it this time, so it's a little heavier. You could dry yours off if you'd prefer, but I don't need to. Now I'm going to fill it up to the line this time, which is a little higher. All right, I'm going to. Oh, oh. Nope, I did it again. Now, 12.18 to 11.17 is 1.01 grams, which, was with, which is within my 0 0.02. So it comes out again. Air bubble. All right, I'm taking it off this time. I do not want to spill water on my scale. Ooh, 13.16 grams. Snap, take picture. Fourteen point one six grams. Good. Turn that thing off. Run through our calculations again. So um, this one is one point zero one grams. This one uh, is point oh two less than a gram, so it's going to be zero point nine eight. One point zero zero. Those are grams. So I could do it on calculator, but the math here isn't too bad. Average mass is going to ma average these three, and I have good news for me. Plus 2.99 divided by 3, 0 0.996 or rounded. Hmm. This is a tricky one. I'm sort of glad we did this. 0 0.996. Uh, so this is a case where... Um, it should round to this second decimal place, but it kicks it over to one. So 0 0.996 repeater should actually uh, round to 1.00 grams. And that's because um, if you were to round this to a zero, it kicks it over to a one, which is an interesting case where you have a number here with two sig figs, and you actually get three sig figs for your answer here. Uh, pretty cool. I did not plan that, but that's awesome that that worked out that way, that you could see that. All right. Now, 1.00 grams, just like last time. So cancel out our units. We're going to divide by volume. Oh, 
And you don't have to write out your calculation, but I'm going to 0.998183. Or you don't have to write it out the second time. Please write it out the first time. I get 1.0018 or 0 1.002, which works out very well. And uh, I don't want to bias you in any way, but our pipettes should be the same. And so if you can see my line, uh, I don't know how to show it to you nicely. Um, here's the one milliliter mark. And my line is, you can see where it is. It's below the actual attachment point to the bulb and above it. So, well, all right. So we go back to the flow chart. The flow chart is our friend. All right, we said we drew a mark. We calibrate three measurements of the milliliters of H2O. Is it within plus or minus 0 0.02 of 1.00? Yes. Go down here, do one more calibration with three measurements, and then we may be done. Have our fingers crossed, but uh, we're in reality, it's okay, uh, no matter how it comes out, because we're gonna keep doing it till we get it right. Temp of H2O. Yeah, my room is definitely warmer than this water. So technically it is not equilibrated yet because it should be the same temperature as the room. Uh, but we will work with it. We'll just make sure we get the right temperature of the water. And I wish this would be a lot easier. I did wait half an hour. But apparently in plasticware, that's not enough. Let's see, we're at 20.0, 20.3. 20 Wish there was a pause button, I would pause it. Let's go with 20.3, it's been there a while. Might sneak down to 20.2, but we'll live with it. Always write that down. Density at 20.3, And now let's do this. Got my scale. Oh, still got my water in it. Let's pour that out. Didn't have to actually, but does the instructions do say to do that? The experiment works uh, anyway. This time we've got eleven point one seven grams. I don't know why this table I did it this way, but I guess see, the subtraction was easier. Take it off. Go to that line again. Not quite. Boom. Boom. 12.17, that gives me exactly one gram so far. Snap, take a picture. Oop, wait a minute. Went down to 12.16, gotta go with your data. Take it off. Up there, bubble. Come on. I bet, are you my friend? Now you went up. 13.19 grams. Okay. 
Call him as I see him, as they say. Hopefully this will be close. Fourteen point two zero grams. Put that in the waste. Do our math again. And honestly, I can tell you this is going to work out and I have my measurements that I need. So uh, this is where I'm going to end this video.